subgraph. A subgraph H of the graph G is a graph where vertices set W of a subgraph is a subset of vertices set of a graph G and edge set of a subgraph is a subset of the edge set of a graph G. So it is called a proper subgraph if H is not is equal to G. For example, we have two graphs over here. One is H, another is a G, where W is a vertex set. So in this case, vertices are A, B, C, edge set are E1 and E4. Where G is a graph with the vertices set A, B, C, D, and edge set as E1, E2, E3, E4 and E5. Now we can check that W is a subset of a vertex set V and edge set F is a subset of edge set of E. So it means H is a subgraph of G. Moreover, it is a proper subgraph of G because H is not is equal to G means the vertex set W is not as equal to the vertex set V and the edge set F is not as equal to the edge set E. Next is a graph union. The union of two simple graph G1 and G2 is a simple graph with the vertex set as a union of vertices set of G1 and G2. And the edge set is a union of edge set of G1 and G2. So basically G is a union of graph G1 and G2. For example, in this case, we have two graphs G1 and G2 with the vertices set in G1 graph as A, B, C, D and E. Now edges in this graph is E1 e2 after that e3 then e4 e5 in case of g2 graph vertex set is represented as a v2 and the vertices are a b d e and f so they are a b d e f now edge set so total edges here are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and their name are E1, E3, E6, E4, then E5 and E7. Now we need to find the union of these two graphs G1 union G2. It means it consists of the vertices as V1 union V2 and E1 union E2. So this vertex set V that is is equal to so take the union of these two vertices that is is equal to A, B, C, D, E and F. Now take the union of edge set so E is equal to E1, E2 now E3, E4, E5, E6 is there, then E7. Now with the help of this one, we can construct the union of these two graphs. That is, is equal to this graph. So next is a complementary graph of a simple graph G and it is represented as a G bar. So it has same number of vertices as a graph G has. So two vertices are adjacent in a G bar that is a complementary graph if and only if they are not adjacent in a graph G. For example, this is a given graph G. We need to construct its complementary graph G bar. For that, first we need to observe the number of vertices in this case. So the count of number of vertices in G bar will be same as the number of vertices in a G. So there are four vertices. So over here we will take the four vertices. So let's suppose this vertex is A, this is B, C and D. Name the same vertices over here. 
Now we need to find the adjacent vertices in a complementary graph. For that, just observe the vertex A. So A is adjacent with A but not with C and D. So it means in a complementary graph, A is not adjacent with B but it is adjacent with C and D. For B, B is adjacent with C and A. It means now it is adjacent with the D in its complementary graph. Same for the vertex C. So C is adjacent with B and D. It means it is adjacent with the vertex A. Same for the D. D is adjacent only with the C. It means D is adjacent with A and D in its complementary graph. So this is a complementary graph of the given G. Next, take the union of graph G with its complementary graph. So in this case, there are only four vertices. So take these four vertices in this graph. A, B, C and D. After that, collect the edges of the both the graphs. And you will get this graph as a union of G and its complementary graph. So now this graph is basically a K4 graph. So there is an important result that is the union of G and its complementary graph with N vertices is always a complete graph with N vertices. So with the help of this result we can solve the next two problems. The first problem is if G is a simple graph with a 15 edges whereas G complement has 13 edges then how many vertices does a G graph have? So we will use the previous result that is union of G and its complementary graph is equal to the complete graph with the same number of vertices. So now for that, first we will calculate the total number of edges in union of these two graphs. That is, is equal to the number of edges in a graph G plus number of edges in a graph G bar. That is a complementary graph of G. So that is, is equal to 15 plus 13. That is equal to 28. Now the total number of edges in a KN graph is that is N into N minus 1 by 2. From 1 we can say that the edge set of this graph is equal to the edge set of a complete graph. Now edge set means the cardinality of the edge set that is the number of edges in a G union its complementary graph is equal to the cardinality of the edge set of KN graph. So total number of edges in this graph is 28 and in this case is N into N minus 1 by 2. So this implies N into N minus 1 by 2 is equal to 56. So that is, is equal to N square minus N minus 56 is equal to 0. So from here we are getting a two values of n that is, is equal to minus 7 and 8. Now n represents the number of vertices and the number of vertices cannot be a negative one. So we will discard this quantity. So the number of vertices is equal to 8 and that is the answer. Next example is, if G is a simple graph with N vertices and E edges, then how many edges does a complementary graph have? So again use the same result that G union G complement is equal to KN where N represents the number of vertices. And we know that the cardinality of the vertex set of a graph G is equal to the cardinality of the vertices in a complementary graph. So if it has a n vertices, definitely the number of vertices in a complementary graph is n. Then use this result and find the number of edges in this case. So number of edges in G union complementary graph is equal to the number of edges in a KN graph. So total number of edges in a KN graph is N into N minus 1 by 2. 
Now the number of edges in a G union complementary graph that is is equal to the number of edges in a G graph plus the number of edges in a complementary graph G. So in this case it is given to you that the total number of edges in a G graph is E. So this quantity is equal to E plus number of edges in G bar that is is equal to n into n minus 1 by 2. So this implies number of edges in G bar is equal to n into n minus 1 by 2 minus e and that is the answer.